Hey, in this video, I am going to show you how to create a widget that contains a video. And I will also show you how to play the audio track that is connected to that MP4 file. The first thing that we need is our movie file itself. That's the movie that we will be using for this tutorial. It's just a stock video. And we are going to place that in a new folder. So right click, create a new folder and name that movies. Now all the MP4 files or your movie files that, want, that you want to get packaged um, inside of your game should be in your uh, movies folder. Now, if we would go there and we would just drag and drop our file in there, we will get an error. The selected media file will not get packaged. And that is because um, like the U asset file, that is actually here, but it has a reference to, you can see, C uses uh, desktop video. And we actually want that video to be in our movies folder. So let's delete this one. We will go to our um, project folder, go to content, go to movies, and actually just copy and paste your movie file in there. And now we can drag and drop it into our project. And if we would go here, you can see that the error is gone. So now it has a reference to just movies and then the name of the movie. And that is what we want. If you go back to our content browser uh, or content folder, we are going to create a new folder. I'm going to name this movie files. And the way uh, Unreal Engine handles movies, um, we actually have the MP4 file. We are connecting that to a media player. So right click, go to media and go to media player. That media player will have a, a media texture output. So we are going to set that to true. Click OK. I'm going to rename this to MP for media player and name it movie01. And because that Boolean was set to true, we can see that we have a media texture. I am going to rename this to media texture underscore movie underscore zero one. And we want this media texture to um, be connected to a material. So I am going to rename that to M for material underscore movie underscore zero one. And we don't need to change anything in these two folders or files. We do need to change something in the material. Um, if you have the output selected on the left side, you can see that we have a material domain. Now it's not a service, but it is a user interface. We are going to connect the RGB to the final color. And that is everything that we need to do for the, um, for the movie files. I'm going to create a new level. And for that, I will create a new folder called levels just to keep the project nice and organized. I'm going to open the folder and create a new level. I'm going to rename this to level underscore movie. And I am going to open that. There we are. We also need a widget. Um, you can place it wherever you want. I am going to create a new folder for that as well called widgets. And we are going to create a new uh, user interface widget blueprint. We want a user widget and I'm going to rename that to W for widget underscore movie. Let's open the widget. And we have a, um, a black canvas, so we want a canvas panel. We are going to drop a image onto the canvas panel. I'm going to rename this image to image underscore movie. The size will be full screen, so 1920 by 1080. And make sure that your uh, image is a variable. Let's go to the graph. We do not need the pre-construct, so we can delete that. We do not need the event tick, so delete that as well. We will be needing the uh, event construct. Now you could just directly place your, uh, your code to start the video right here. I actually like to create a custom event for that. 
and I am going to name that start movie. We will be using a new variable. So from the variable tab, hit the plus and create a new variable called media player. And the variable type will be, of course, a media player. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to grab our image. We are going to say set brush from material. And we will set the material to M underscore movie. Now you could also set the material just from the designer. So if you go to appearance brush and just change the image right here to M underscore movie. Um, but I always like to do that right here. Um, so for example, if you've got one widget that can play different kind of movies, uh, you can just change the material right here um, and just add another variable to it. Um, so yeah, it's easier to, um, to do it in a graph than here. Uh, if you only got like one movie that's playing, then you can also do that right there. We are going to grab our media player and say set media player media player that we want is the mp movie underscore zero one the next thing that we will do is open source open source so drag from like the uh, blue output to uh, to the right and say open source and the source that we want is our video file now the um the video file if we actually go there so let's go to movies uh, that's not the one I want. Let's go to movie files to our media player. Our media player will uh, play on open. So that means if the widget is created and is connected uh, to this media player, the, uh, the video will start playing right away, even if it's not visible. So we want to rewind it to the beginning so that uh, if we start movie, the movie will start from the beginning. And of course, we will need to trigger the event, and we are going to do that from the event construct. If we go to our level, go to list of block blueprints, and let's open the level blueprint. From the uh, begin play, we are going to create a widget. The widget will be widget underscore movie. And we are going to say at the viewport so it will be visible to the player. So right now, if we would play our movie, you can see that we have the, um, the movie itself, but no audio. Because we are actually just displaying a, um, a material. So there is no audio track inside of the material. What we can do for that, uh, let's go to our movie files folder. Right click, let's create a new blueprint class, will be an actor. Let's name it BP underscore movie audio. Open the blueprint on the components tab on the left, click add and search for a media sound. Let's compile and save. And this actor has to be in your level. So just drag it into your level and I'm going to center it to zero, zero, zero. And from our widget uh, blueprint, after the rerun, we will say get all actors of class. This will be our BP underscore movie audio. We are going to get a copy. There's only one in the world, so we can just leave that to zero. We will get our media sound. And we are going to say set media player. Now the media player, that will be the media player that we have set right there. So just track that in there. And from media sound, we are going to say start. So it will actually start playing the, uh, the audio file. So right now, if we would replay, you can see in here that the movie and the audio track is playing. Um, now, if you would, for example, want to um, trigger another event if the video uh, is completed, we can do that as well. But we will 
grab our media player onto the graph, hit grab. We can say get duration. And if we would split this one, we can see that we can get the value in seconds. Now the get duration um, node will only trigger if the um, if the source is actually playing. So what we want is create a small delay. And then we'll add another delay and add the seconds to that. So right now um, we will get the duration 0.1 seconds after um, after the media player will start playing the movie. And we can just say, for example, open level by name. And because we are in the third person um, example project, I'm just going to open the third person map. So compile save and control shift S to save everything. And let's see what's happening. And when the movie is done playing, we will open the, uh, the third person example map. That is it for this video. If you like this video, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.